Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you yet another very interesting project which deals with virtual try-on. We have covered lot of projects, lot of models which provide the similar sort of uh, functionality. So if you go to my channel and just search with virtual, you will see heaps of uh, products and models and tools which I already have shared with you. This tool, which is called as FitDit, uses Diffusion Transformer model to do the virtual try-on. In very simple words, what it does, it we provide it a human figure, we provide it a garment or clothing, and then with the help of mask, we change the clothing on the human. That is all we need to do. The thing which makes it slightly different is that it produces a high fidelity virtual try-on and we will also try it out after installing it locally to see how it works. It uses Diffusion Transformer. Diffusion, Diffusion Transformer is an AI model that combines the strength of Diffusion models and Transformer architecture. It's primarily used for image and video generation tasks such as image synthesis, editing and video prediction. This model works by iteratively refining a random noise signal until it converges to a specific image or video using transformer-based architecture to model the underlying data distribution. This is what it is behind the scene. So let's get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, allow me to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50%. So have fun. Let me first create a virtual environment and then we are going to install after cloning the repo of this project and I will drop the link to it in video's description too. And I'm just going to run this simple git clone command that is going to uh, clone it. And now let's install all of the prerequisites which include torch, torch vision and few other stuff. So let's wait for it. It is going to take two to three minutes. And everything is installed now. Next up, we need to launch the Gradio GUI with the help of this command from the root of the repo. And the first time when you will run it, it is going to download this model. The size is just close to 3.83 gig. Let's wait for it. And then it also seems to download some auxiliary models, which are not that huge, except this main model, I guess, which is uh, the first shard is around 10 gig. So let's see what is the size of the other shard. Other shard is small, so the size is around 10 gig, which is good. And now it is loading it into onto our GPU. And the model is now running locally, fit it on our local system. Let's try to get it installed. Uh, it's running, access it in the browser at local radio port. And there you go, it is running, looks really cool. Awesome. Okay, so now uh, let me first show you an example which they have shared uh, from the repo. So first up, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this human. And then if I go up, you will see that the human is there. Now, in order to run it, all we need to do is to make sure that upper body is selected. Let's change her shirt. And for shirt, I'm just going to select maybe this shirt. And then the first step is to run the mask. So once you click it, it is going to generate the mask here in this bottom section automatically. And if you, you can also draw it by yourself by using this draw tool. There you go. So it has automatically generated. Normally it creates a pretty good mask, which I have seen. And if you don't, if you're not happy, you can just simply move these sliders here to, to adjust it. But I find these sliders a bit awkward, so I don't really use them. So let's click on run try on. And then you will see that now she will be wearing this shirt here. The output should be coming up. While that happens, let's quickly check the VRAM consumption. And then 
think it already has generated it but let's check it out so it is consuming close to 16 gig of vram okay there you go so it looks quite good it's really high fidelity really like it good stuff the human hasn't changed neither the face nor i think this finger do you think i don't think so the finger looks bit off here right the right hand yeah other than that looks okay this one is quite good these fingers look bit off here otherwise it is fine cool okay let's try out another one so i'm just going to maybe i will go with the lower body so let's select this model let's go up yep model is there and then let's select maybe <clears throat> sorry maybe this dress for her and then we will just run the mask here so this is the model this is the dress let's run the mask let's wait for oh, i should have selected sorry i should have selected this lower body from here yes see otherwise the mask will go up so i'll just run the mask again let's wait for it we will just make it slightly smaller so that we would be able to see okay better so now it is better and now let's run the try on let's wait for it and there you go looks much better you see it has changed it so that fidelity is quite nice really like it good stuff now what i'm doing i have just uploaded few of my own images from my local system on the left hand side this is the ai generated image and then on i just want her to wear this skirt so let's go down so it's a lower body so i'll just keep it lower body that is good and then i'll just run the mask to see what happens so you see the mask is not what i wanted it is very low so as i said i mean we can just you know offset it from the bottom and top but i really don't uh, like it from here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cancel it this bit takes a bit of a time to cancel so let's wait yeah that's done now okay so i'm not going to upload an image what i'm going to do here okay sorry it's just okay so let me see where the draw tool is i don't see it normally the draw tool appears here in the bottom so i'm just clicking here to see if i could see it i don't see any draw tool so that is a bit of a bummer that we don't see the draw tool here you see there is no draw tool so let's see if it is anywhere here i don't see it now in the, that case i have no option but to use these sliders so what i will do i will just run the mask again and then i will use these sliders to draw otherwise <clears throat> normally you know they should have some sort of masking here which i prefer okay so you see now i just want to increase it from the top so i'll just make it here i'll reduce the bottom and then i'll just keep maybe increase the steps and let's run the mask again and now it looks much better and there you go the skirt is there but i don't think so the quality is that good to my liking i would say you see the skirt is not full though the mask is there i think they should improve uh, this masking instead of running the mask by themselves they should let us uh, draw the mask <clears throat> with the masking tool because this automatic masking is simply not good enough especially on the custom images in my opinion um, it might work with all of these curated examples but when we try with our own examples it i don't think so it is good enough and i'm just giving you the um, very very uh, honest opinion and without editing anything so let's try out one final example i'm just going to cancel these now in this next example i just picked up one of my own ai model but for the garment i'm just going to go with their example to see how that performs so i'm just going to maybe go with this uh, hawaiian shirt and then upper body that is good and then i'll just run the mask so let's see what happens here 
the mask is quite good but i mean uh, in terms of speed but other than that i'm not really not anyway let's try it out what it does let's run the try on to see what it produces there you go so yeah no what do you think yeah not bad right so but what is this white thing because it couldn't really uh, see it otherwise it looks good i mean if i look everything but i think the hair are not good enough you see the hair are gone i think the reason being that they just unnecessarily put the mask here the mask should be only in this area the shirt area but so i think that uh, good effort but there are better virtual try-ons available but i would also let you uh, decide because you are the ultimate decision makers here so let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching